how did you finish high school? Well, what yeah. happened was, uh, like I said, when I got treatment for the disability, I uh, basically went back to high school and pretty much got great, just some great grades. I mean, I went right from right to the top. And uh, I am not to go to college because, you know, like I said, when I was young, I did everything by myself. I worked so many different types of jobs. So everywhere I went, man, I, uh, I would start at the bottom. I would go to the top. I always knew I had what it took to really grow. Does that make sense? So uh, what I did was, um, you know, college wasn't really, really really my motto. So I checked into college and took some courses and got straight A's, good grades. So I, I started at a young age, man, just basically uh, trying to provide uh, for my mom because my mom is my mentor and my family. So I worked two jobs. I mean, I've done everything from scrubbing floors to washing windows to helping people put grocery in cars, paper route, the whole nine yards. And I've worked hard all my, all my life. And, um, you know, to this very day, I believe that that's what it's all about. It's all about, you know, working hard toward your dream. And I didn't let anything stop me. Even when I was in corporate America and I would start at the bottom and there people were there who had degrees, I would supersede them because of my ability. Right. And, uh, you know, so I, like, I also credit it once again, when I was going through what I was going through, it gave me an opportunity to know my strengths and my limitations. And when you know that, you know how to work on things that's that's setting you back. So I, I got books, I read things, I I, I was I was self educated, and I got a lot of accomplishments, a lot of awards. However, uh, you know, throughout my journey, I always had a, a great love for music. I love music, and uh, a friend of mine uh, was working in the music industry, and my friend he basically you know said that I was pretty much his mentor because. He would come to me to talk to me about a lot of different things. And he said, hey, man, you're very encouraging. The whole nine yards, you love music. You ought to consider getting into the music business like I am. You know, I work in the music business as a music manager. And, you know, I, I pretty much listened to it, but I wasn't really, really paying that much attention because I was working jobs. And then my friend came to me one day and said, hey, man, listen, we're, we're having a, a tour. And why don't you come on the tour with us? I, you know, I can't pay you that much money, but... I can give you some money. And um, I came to my boss and told my boss, I said, hey, you know, I, I made up an excuse. Uh, I want to take, you know, a couple of weeks off. And my boss said, uh, I can't give you a couple of weeks off. Even, and I also had the vacation time to take a couple of weeks. But I was so good at my job, my boss didn't even want me to take two weeks off. So my boss said, hey, I can give you a week off. And I said, wow, OK, I'll take the week. So I took the week off, went on that tour, a few dates. And man, when I, when I got on that tour, man, I... I Listen, once again, I used my superpower. I, I mean, I brought coffee. Whatever they asked me to do, I did it. And uh, I began to have a name for myself within a week. Go talk to Big Man, because I'm kind of tall. Go talk to Big Man. He'll get it done for you. So that week turned into pretty much a career, because after the week, they said, hey, we want you to stay. We can pay you more. And then I ended up doing the whole tour. So that's where I found passion, you know, in, in that music industry. Now, here's 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 the the grand finale. I was I was working so hard in the music industry, doing so well, meeting people the whole nine yards. There was a man that saw me on the on the set when I was working in the industry, and I can't say his name. He's a known guy. I don't want to say his name, but he's a very known guy. And he told me, he said, "Kid, you, you got what it takes. You, you know, I see you. You know, you're a go getter." And he said, "Have you ever thought about uh, starting your own?" Uh, uh, ma management company. I said, hey, I, I thought about it, but you know, I don't know anything about how to start a uh, management company. I don't know anything. And he said, you know what? He says, if you're really serious about it, here's my card. So when you get off the tour, you can come see me. So when I got off the tour, I actually went to uh, Beverly Hills and sat down and talked with him. And he basically said, hey, listen, I'll show you how to start your own management company. And not only that, we can also create a label at some point and you can manage artists and I'll show you how to do it. Well, he showed me the ropes in terms of, you know, how to start a management company. I was starting learning certain different things. But once again, my strength and my power was, was in developing people and relationships and making things happen. But he was pretty much doing all of the business. Now, the crazy part is that we made a lot of accomplishments, but at the end of the year, when we did the math, you know, he wrote me a check and I looked at the check and I was like, what the heck is this? We made far more money. 
So he, you know, he laid everything out in front of me, all of the accounts, and he said, hey, you know, you know, the, the video shoot we did, we had to pay for that. The clothes we bought, we had to pay for that. We had to do this. For the artist, he laid all these things out. And at the end of the day, I had a little revenue for myself. And once again, I, re I resorted to my superpower. I said, hey, listen, I'll never put myself in a position like this again. I want to learn everything I need to know about how music uh, contracts work, how residuals and royalties work. So I get books and I start reading pretty much underground, learning and learning and learning and learning. And uh, I overcame that situation. And the, uh, the following year, you know, I pretty much scaled back and I made a lot of money and I learned a lot of things and uh, I found passion. But as time went along, making a lot of money because I managed a lot of notable artists in my music company. And as time went along, I made a lot of money. But once again, I didn't understand taxes, didn't understand how the money system worked. And once again, I found myself in the same position, making a lot of revenue, but only more than what I made. And I'm like, wow, something is wrong. So I, I really just bunkered down, man. And I started to uh, pursue studying again about finance and uh, how, how money works, about money, the whole nine yards. And that's when I found my passion. My passion was basically in finance, entrepreneurism and finance and helping people and learning. And I'm telling you, man, I learned so much that uh, that's where I found my passion. So I decided to pivot from the music business because at that time there were CDs and CDs were doing well, but we went from CDs to downloads. When we went to downloads, the profit margin was really, really out, out of scope. So I decided to, to, to amp out and op out rather, and we sold uh, that part of the music company. And to this very day, I get residuals, but I decided to get into the finance world. So everywhere I went, if I went to a firm, I started at the bottom, I went to the top. I got so many awards, hundreds of awards, thousands of awards from the top to the bottom. I knew I had something. So I decided, man, to start my own uh, financial institution, my own firm. And um, I'm helping so many different people. My firm is military trusted. I help a lot of people who really need help. And my target, man, is really common Americans, common Americans that don't really, really understand the basic principles of financial literacy. And I give them information, even though I have high end clients, but my passion is with the clients that really don't know. That's what it's all about. So what I'm doing now, man, to me, is really fun. I would do it for free. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm helping a lot of people, changing lives. And that's what it's all about, man.